I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and this is how you can add series and parallel switching to any humbucker pickup like this one. Now before we talk too much about wiring up a guitar, let's take a closer look at what series and parallel wiring actually is. Let's say you have an electric motor that you can power for one hour with a standard 9 volt battery. Just connect the positive of your battery to the positive on the motor, and the negative to the negative, and you're off and running. Let's say that you want to add a second 9 volt battery to power the motor as well. Well, you'd have two options on how to wire it. Option number one, wire it in series. Instead of running the negative of your battery to the negative of your motor, connect it to the positive of your second battery. Then connect the negative of your second battery to the negative on your motor. Now you have two 9 volt batteries in series. The result is that you are now sending 18 volts to the motor. Your motor is going to run much faster now at 18 volts and the batteries are still going to last for an hour. Option number two, wire it in parallel. Now, if you were to flip the second battery so that you wire the first battery's negative to the second battery's negative, and likewise positive to positive, then connect the positive and negative to their appropriate terminals on the motor, you would now have two batteries in parallel. The result is that you are now sending the motor nine volts again, so it'll run the same speed as it did with only one battery, but now the batteries are gonna power the motor for two hours. Parallel wiring is not the same as coil tapping. Coil tapping would be the equivalent of removing one of the batteries entirely, and we'll cover that in a future video. So what does this mean for us guitar players? Well, pickup coils are a lot like batteries. They generate a small amount of electricity that we amplify into sound. So when you have two coils, like in a humbucker pickup, you have the option to wire them in series or parallel. Most humbuckers come wired in series from the factory. It has a higher output and it'll push your amp into overdrive faster. But the result is that it has a darker tone than your typical single coil pickups. Now, if you wire them in parallel, you'll get about half the output, which translates to about 20% perceived volume but you do get that brighter single coil type sound. The advantage to wiring your pickups in parallel as opposed to coil tapping is that you're still using both coils, so you get the awesome hum canceling properties that you would get from a humbucker pickup, but with a brighter single coil type sound. Now to get the best of both worlds out of your guitar, you could wire in a double pull, double throw switch, commonly referred to as a DPDT switch, which oddly enough is actually harder to say. So I just call it a dip and dot switch. You can use a dip and dot switch like this to switch back and forth between series and parallel wiring on the fly. And here's how to do that. First, make sure that your humbucker has four conductor wiring, meaning it has four different colored wires. Each wire is either a positive or a negative for one of the coils. You may additionally have a bare ground wire. You may also notice that two of the wires are already soldered together. This more than likely means that it was set up to run series at the factory. In order to make it switchable, you're gonna have to pull apart those two wires. Next, you'll need to get yourself that dippity dot switch, either a mini toggle switch like this one, or a push-pull volume pot if you don't want to add any more holes into your guitar's pick guard. The bottom of your dippity switch will have six pull pieces, numbered left to right, up and down. Now, wire your dippity doo dah as follows. Take the start lead, or positive lead, of coil one and connect it to pull one. Connect the finish lead, or negative lead, of coil one to pull number four. Then connect the positive lead of coil two to pull two, and the negative lead to pull three. Next, connect a small jumper wire from pole five to pole six. Lastly, pole number one will be your hot output and pole two will be your ground. Wire those up to your pickup selector or volume pot as you normally would straight from the pickup. If you're planning to do this mod, take a quick screenshot of this diagram for future reference. In this configuration, when your switch is in the up position, it's gonna be running in parallel. Flip it down to run in series. If you want it to be opposite, once you're done wiring, just flip your switch when you install it in your pit guard. Now you may be saying to me right now, how the freak am I supposed to know which wires connect to which coil and which ones are positive and negative? I don't know what the freak I'm doing! Now calm down and keep your pants on because you have two options. Option one, you can look it up online. All major pickup manufacturers have their color codes listed online, so just check that out. But if your pickup is a cheap knockoff like this one, there's a good chance that its color codes aren't gonna line up with any major manufacturers. So you're gonna have to find out with option number two, the hard way. This way requires a voltmeter. If you don't have a voltmeter, you can get one just like this for cheap or free from Harbor Freight, especially if you subscribe to their coupons in the mail. You're also gonna need a screwdriver. If you don't have a screwdriver, then I might be saying to you right now, why the freak are you trying to wire hack your own pickups if you don't even own a screwdriver? Okay, so firstly set your voltmeter to read in the 20 kilo ohms range. Now pick any two pickup wires and touch your voltmeter wires to them. If you get a resistance reading, then both wires are connected to the same coil. If you don't get a reading, then grab another wire and try again until you do get a reading. Once you have two wires that give you a reading, you will also get a reading if you connect the other two wires. Now, to determine which wires belong to which coil, first change your voltmeter to the 20 volt setting. With one pair connected, tap on one of the coil's pickup poles with your screwdriver. If it changes the reading, then those wires belong to that coil. 
You'll also notice that the reading either went positive first, then negative when you disconnected it, or vice versa. If you get a positive reading first, then whichever wire is connected to the positive lead of the voltmeter is the start or positive wire of that coil. If it went negative first, then the wire connected to the negative lead of your voltmeter is the start for that coil. Then proceed back to the steps I mentioned before on how to wire up your pickup to the switch. Now if you want to hear how a hot rail style pickup like this sounds in series versus parallel wiring, check out my video on how to build a high-end guitar out of a cheap eBay kit. In that video, I built this super strat with three humbucker hot rail pickups, each with a series and parallel switch of their own. Plus, you'll hear a sound demo. Also, down in the description, I've put some links to some high quality and inexpensive tools and components if you're interested in doing these type of mods. If you're just starting out in this hobby, then this is a good place to start without breaking the bank. Now, what other type of wiring hacks do you guys want to see? Coil tapping? Seven way pickup selecting? Tone circuits or special effects? Let me know in the comments so that I can make videos that you guys want to see. Then hit the subscribe button so that you're notified when I make those videos. Also, don't forget to like this video if you found it informative. I'm Dan, this is Guns and Guitars, and thanks for watching.